Greetings, YouTube. Last night in the way to work, I was listening to NPR, and they were interviewing an Indian guru. And during the interview, he made a comment about freedom that I found quite interesting and that it rung quite true in my head. He said that freedom actually has two components. The first being the cho your ability to make a choice, hence the whole wonderful aspects of freedom, the ability to choose between different things. But the second component of freedom is that you have to take responsibility for the consequences of that first part. And in America, where I've been born and raised, it's been my experience that we are really good at the first part of that definition. We love freedom. We talk about it all the time. We put it in our speeches, we put it in our documents, we slap it on billboards. Freedom is everywhere. In fact, we even go to the extent of bombing the crap out of people in an effort to bring them freedom. I didn't say we were the smartest people. But we're really bad at that latter part of, it, of that guru's definition of freedom. We're not good at taking into, con into account the consequences of our free choices. We're very much a culture that likes to buy now, pay later. Whether it's cars that are too big, or houses that are too big, or flat screen TVs that are too big. Um, we, are, we want the biggest thing that we can get, and the bigger more than we can afford, and then we'll pay for it later. We have the same policy when it comes to our domestic, pro um, our just domestic policies, granting tax breaks to people who don't deserve nor need them, and borrowing money from China to pay for them, and then wondering why our deficit's going up. And yes, I know, we're not too smart sometimes. We also do with foreign policies. Again, the aforementioned bombing the crap out of people to bring them freedom and not taking into account that, you know, you may actually have to rebuild that country later and just maybe, possibly, the people in that country might resent you. Yes, it is a cat in the lower part of the frame. And the attitude we have in America towards freedom, <coughs> excuse me, is very much a juvenile attitude in my book. It's very much the depth of rah, 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 go team. High school students cheering on their favorite sports team and their favorite coach without really wondering about, you know, greater issues. All they know is right here, right now, they want to cheer this team on. They want their coach to win at any cost. And that's the problem. They want the coach to win at any cost. They want everything to win at every cost if it's America if America is involved. And that is exceedingly juvenile. And I'm really tired of it. I want America to mature. I want us to stop being a nation of juveniles that want our freedom and don't want to worry about the consequences at all. Because if we don't mature soon, I don't know if we're going to survive long enough to go about the process.